My book, Swimming Studies, is about my life as a competitive swimmer, my history as a competitive swimmer, and how swimming has, and its disciplines, have, have carried on in, in how, I, how I work and how I draw and the habits I develop. I wrote it and you know, drew these chapters to figure out what place it had now, 20 years after the 1992 Olympic trials, my last Olympic trials, um, because I you know, wasn't going to go into coaching or anything around the pool or athletics. And so it always sat in this strange little ante room in my, in my psyche and history, and I, and I, and I wondered how, how, it would, how I would talk about it, how I, what I felt about it. I think um, Susan Sontag said something like, I write to figure out what I think about something. And, and when I read that, I was like, oh yeah, that's what kind of I'm doing, because it, it has a very strange structure. It doesn't, you know, it's not, it's not really a memoir. It's, it's not a story of a race, or it's not about victory. It's not about, and so what I tried to do is make the structure feel like um, feel like water when you watch the facets of water when you sort of break the surface of water and you see things um, uh, magnified and telescoped and and uh, all of these different parts of the same thing kind of sh sh sort of kaleidoscope and and fracture and I that's how I feel about swimming and I wanted I wanted a little bit of that to, to come across and I tried to write about it.